Hey, it's Dean Leggy. Before we get to Matt DeBerry and his recruiting update for the day, I want to make sure that everybody knows that Josh Braun, who has been committed to Georgia for some time, since about June, decommitted. And that was that happened right after uh, Matt recorded this segment for everybody. So I'm going to throw it to Matt right now. We think that probably Georgia's going to have to do something to keep him from going to Florida. It seems like Florida's got the momentum right now. But with that said, let me throw it to Matt for his recruiting update for the week. All right, what's up, guys? Matt Tiberi, dogpost.com here with another recruiting edition. It is Wednesday morning, uh, one week left until signing day, so definitely want to hop on and uh, give you guys the very latest as it relates to Georgia Bulldog recruiting and how Georgia's 2020 class might unfold. So there's a lot to talk about. First, I want to thank you guys for watching these videos. I'm glad y'all enjoy them, and I really do my best to uh, give y'all all the information I have as we lead up to signing day. So. Uh, we'll get right into it, and uh, I do just want to break down the, the 2020 class and how it stands right now, and uh, I guess we'll start at quarterback. Carson Beck, uh, four-star quarterback out of Jacksonville, Florida, is Georgia's lone quarterback commitment at this time. He told me that he is expecting uh, Kirby Smart, James Coley, and uh, possibly Todd Hartley at their house for an in-home visit tonight, which will be Wednesday night, uh, so something to monitor there. Uh, he's a big time prospect and he's a guy who's really been uh, recruiting others to join him in this class. So Carson Beck is ready to be a Bulldog. He's excited. He's enrolling early and he could not be happier uh, to be a Georgia Bulldog here very soon. As we've reported for a while now, Georgia does want to add another quarterback in this class. Uh, they went and saw uh, CJ Stroud, four-star quarterback out of California. Uh, the staff has been on the West Coast Monday and Tuesday. They'll come back today, being Wednesday, and they saw Stroud while they were out there. He took his official visit to Georgia when they hosted uh, Texas A&M back in late November. After that visit, I was told it probably was not going to be Georgia, that it probably is going to come down to Michigan or Ohio State for Stroud. Uh, we'll see how things go. Obviously, Georgia's still you know, recruiting him since they went and saw him earlier this week, so he's a guy to keep an eye on there. If Georgia does not land C.J. Stroud to go along with Carson Beck, look for them to add a possible grad transfer from somewhere else or just another quarterback through the transfer portal. But I do think that they are looking to add another arm going forward to go along with Carson Beck, who I do think is a really, really good quarterback prospect. So that's quarterback. On to running back, Georgia went and saw five-star running back commit Kendall Milton out in California on Monday. I believe that was Kirby Smart and Dell McGee. So they had their in-home visit with Kendall Milton on Monday night. Everything is good there. Another guy who's enrolling early, uh, excited to be a Bulldog. If Georgia adds another, a second uh, excuse me, running back in this class, it looks like it'll be uh, Dajan Edwards, the running back out of Colquitt County. Um, if he can get his grades right, for, as far as I'm told, he will be in this class. And uh, a few have told me that if it weren't for his current grades, that he would already be a member of this 2020 class. So if he gets everything done in the classroom, we are expecting Dajan Edwards to be in Georgia's 2020 class and be their second running back to go along with five-star Kendall Milton. At tight end, uh, y'all know it's been uh, for a while now, five-star tight end Darnell Washington is the big target out of Las Vegas. Uh, Nick Saban went to see him a few days ago. Dan Mullen and the Florida staff went to go see him Sunday night. Uh, it was uh, Monday evening, I think is when they saw uh, Darnell Washington. It was uh, Kirby, Hardly, and I think Del McGee was there too. I'm not exactly sure, but Kirby Smart definitely used his in-home visit with Darnell Washington, I believe, Monday evening. Big time target. I've said since July that I think Georgia leads for Darnell Washington. I still think that is the case today. He took his official visit to Miami last weekend. The Hurricanes are in the mix. I don't expect them to be a major player, but Tennessee is a school to keep an eye out on. He's visited Tennessee numerous times, and he's got his official visit to Tennessee this upcoming weekend. Uh, so that'll be his last official visit. Will be uh, to Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, to check out the Vols, and he will make a decision at I believe it's the Under Armour game or the All American game, whichever All Star game he's at that plays in early January. That's when he will be making his decision. I still think Georgia leads for Darnell Washington, and uh, I expect Georgia to sign him unless something changes and he just has the best visit of all time uh, to Tennessee this upcoming weekend. Georgia lost out on Theo Johnson yesterday, uh, Tuesday, uh, where he chose Penn State over Georgia. Not the biggest surprise, but I do think Georgia would still like to add a second tight end in this class. Look for uh, Michael Henderson. 
listed as an athlete, but I think Oklahoma is taking him as a tight end. Uh, he took his official visit to Georgia in November, and I believe that Georgia uh, will probably try to push for a flip there late with about one week left to go. Not sure if he is signing early or not. I've got some of the answers. I don't have all of them. There's a lot going on, uh, but I'm not sure if he's signing in December or in February. Either way, I think Georgia uh, will try to make that late push and try to get a second tight end in. Um, obviously, they don't have any committed Darnell Washington and then Michael Henderson, I think, are two guys that Georgia would love to add in this class. They definitely need to get one, but I think ideally they would like to add two tight ends. Moving on to offensive line, probably should have started with that with the news of Matt Luke being hired as Georgia's offensive line coach on Tuesday. And uh, he hit the ground running. I was told that Chad Lindbergh uh, was a guy he went and saw on Tuesday night. Tate Radlich told me he's expecting him to be uh, in home on Wednesday, which would be today. So he saw Chad Lindbergh uh, night one, right after being hired. I'll see Ch uh, Tate Radlich today. Broderick Jones has kind of been flirting with Auburn for a while now, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if he decided to open things up. Auburn is definitely Georgia's biggest uh, competition right now for Broderick Jones. He doesn't talk a whole lot to the media, but he has visited Auburn twice. Uh, or, I don't know if it's been twice, but I feel like it's been a few times this fall. He was definitely there for the Iron Bowl, and I think that was his last collegiate visit. So definitely got to keep an eye on there. Josh Braun, four-star offensive lineman from North Florida. Definitely a guy to keep an eye on. Florida is making a big push here. He was a big target uh, for Florida, has been for a while. And when he chose Georgia over Florida, that was a big hit to Florida's class. That was, uh, that was a big loss. There's no doubt about it. They wanted him badly. He ended up committing to Georgia. And now I think Florida is really trying to get back in the mix and push for a flip here. Um, we'll see. I think Matt Luke will try to see him this week. I haven't confirmed any of that news, but definitely keep an eye on the Florida Gators making a push for Josh Braun. Uh, Cedric Van Pran, uh, another out-of-state offensive line commitment. Haven't heard anything from him, but being an out-of-state guy, if he has not been seen by Matt Luke in the next few days, I could definitely see Van Pran or Von Pran, however you say it, uh, kind of open things up and look at other options. Um, DeBerry, my last name is French, but I still uh, still uh, not sure about the the French pronunciations of those names. But anyway, Van Pran, Van Pran, very good center uh, guard type. But we'll see if he uh, stays committed to Georgia with the news of Sam Pittman leaving for Arkansas. So. I do think Matt Luke was a big hire, and I think there's a good chance that he does uh, retain a lot of these commitments and keep them on board. But you could definitely see a guy like Von Prawn, Van Pran, or Josh Braun, I think I got that one right, uh, exploring other options. We'll see, but Matt Luke is a really big hire, and I think he's going to bring in an excellent class regardless of what happens with these current commitments. On to the uh, receivers. Uh, Georgia has two commitment, uh, committed right now, Marcus Rosemey and Justin Robinson. Marcus Rosemey told me that he's expecting Kirby Smart, uh, I think it's James Coley and Cortez Hankton at his home on Wednesday. Uh, so big news there uh, as Kirby will visit uh, probably his best wide receiver commitment right now in Rosemey, one of the top overall players in Florida, one of the top receivers in the entire country. So Marcus Rosemey does plan to sign early next week in the early signing period, but he is not enrolling early. Justin Robinson, on the other hand, George's other four-star wide receiver commitment, does plan on signing early and enrolling early. So big news there. Um, as far as the other targets go, uh, Arian Smith, wide receiver out of Lakeland, Florida, one of the fastest players in the entire country. He made it known that he will be signing in the early signing period next week, and he will take his official visit to Georgia this weekend. And uh, if you're on dog post, this is no surprise. I've been saying for a couple weeks now that I think Georgia leads for Arian Smith. Uh, and, uh, I think they lead Alabama. I think those are the top two. And he's got his official visit coming up. I'd be very surprised at this point if Georgia did not sign Arian Smith next week. Uh, they definitely need some speed at the receiver position. And he is uh, probably the fastest wide receiver prospect in the entire country. So Georgia's in a really good spot there. Another guy, sources told me, uh, Georgia went out to see Jermaine Burton, uh, four-star wide receiver, current committed, currently committed to LSU. Uh, he didn't make it known on Twitter or social media or anything, but I was told that the Georgia staff did meet with him earlier this week while they were on the West Coast. 
And again, if you're on dog post, you already know they've been pushing for a flip from this guy for a, a, a while now. They offered him as a freshman in high school when he was a hateful charter. Now a senior, it feels like I've been covering the kid for five years now, uh, and it's finally here. I don't know if he's gonna sign in December. I don't know if it's gonna be February. Uh, those are questions that I have not gotten the answer to. But I do know George is pushing for Jermaine Burton, another guy with great speed, uh, body control, hands. This kid is a really, really good player and a guy I've been watching uh, for a long time. So George is definitely trying to push uh, for the flip of Jermaine Burton from LSU. Another guy to keep an eye on, uh, Jontavius Robinson. Georgia offered him last week. Big playmaker out of Jones County, Georgia. And uh, I think if they miss on Burton, then a slot will open up for Robertson to possibly come in. I do think Georgia wants to take two wide receivers, uh, two more in this class. They got two committed, obviously, and I think they want to add two more uh, to make a total of four in this class. So uh, Aaron Smith is a guy I think they're going to land. And then either Jermaine Burton or Jentavious Robinson. Uh, maybe Marcus Fleming not hearing a ton on that end, though. So that's where things uh, shape up at wide receiver. Moving on to defensive line, uh, Nazir Stackhouse was recently visited by Trey Scott. I do think that even though Tennessee and Auburn and a few other schools have been pushing for Nazir Stackhouse, I do believe Georgia will sign him. Uh, again, he is still deciding uh, if he's going to sign next week or not. Same with Jalen Carter, the four-star defensive lineman, uh, another kid out of Florida, a uh, real quiet kid, but one of the top defensive linemen in the country. He told me he's still not sure if he will decide, or excuse me, sign next week. It will be Georgia where he ends up, but I'm not sure if he's signing next week or in February. My guess is that he will sign next week, uh, but those plans have not been confirmed. Warren Brinson, a guy that doesn't talk to the media much. I don't know if he is signing next week or not. I think he is. But again, uh, he could also be a February guy too. I don't think he's flipping anywhere. Um, but I'd, so I do think he will sign with Georgia, just not sure when. And then five-star Jordan Birch, uh, another big-time target, one of the top players in the entire country. I, I, hearing some LSU, hearing some Clemson, don't think it's going to be South Carolina. I would not say that Georgia leads right now, but I would still say that Georgia is absolutely in the mix here. I will say that. I don't know when he's signing. I, I think it's. Uh, may, I think he is actually making a commitment uh, a couple days before signing day, and then uh, signing in December. Now that I think about it, so I do think he's an early signing guy. I don't think the pick is going to be Georgia. You never know, though. Kirby Smart does an excellent job of closing strong at signing day. He's proved that the last two years. So anything can happen. But I'm not hearing as much Jordan Birch uh, to Georgia as I was uh, in the past. Uh, moving on to linebacker. It looks like Georgia's only going to take one in Mikhail Sherman, five-star out of Washington, D.C. Uh, his family told me that they're expecting uh, Coach Dan Lanning and Coach Glenn Schumann, the two linebacker coaches, co-defensive coordinators, uh, to meet with Sherman and his family uh, tonight, which will be Wednesday night. So uh, they're getting their in-home visit. Uh, I believe Kirby obviously will be with Marcus Roseme and maybe seeing some of those kids down in Florida today. So I don't expect Kirby Smart to be up there in D.C. with Lanning and Schumann to see Sherman. Uh, so that visit might happen uh, somewhere else. Again, not sure if he's signing in December or February. I believe he will sign in December, but I have not been told that personally just yet. But I do think he will sign next week. And they've got their in-home visit with Schumann and Lanning uh, Wednesday night. Now on to the defensive backs. Georgia's got one committed, Jalen Kimber. He was visited by Charlton Warren uh, on Monday night. He said things went well. It was a lot of just casual talk, not a ton of business, football type stuff, just uh, showing up and uh, just having good casual talk. That's what he told me and how the visit went with Coach Warren. He does plan to sign early and enroll early. Big news for Georgia there. Uh, so they've got one committed, Jalen Kimber. I do think Georgia... Uh, we'll try to add two, maybe three more defensive backs in this class. Obviously, five-star Keely Ringo uh, is maybe Georgia's biggest target left on their entire board. And uh, uh, I was told that uh, the staff went out to see Keely Ringo uh, for an in-home visit earlier this week. I'm not sure what day. Um, Keely didn't tell me personally that that was happening, but other sources did tell me that a visit was made uh, from the Georgia staff. Again, not sure who. Probably Kirby Smart and a couple others uh, who went in home with Keely Ringo. 
He plans to take his official visit to Georgia this weekend. I've said for a long time, I think Georgia leads Oregon and Texas. I still feel that way today. And uh, I think Georgia's in a really, really good spot heading into the final weekend before signing day. They're gonna have Keeley on campus. At least that's what I've been told. And that's uh, what I think the plan has been for a while now. So uh, I do think he'll show up and make it for his official visit this weekend. I think Georgia's in a really good spot to land him, as I've said for a long, long time. So obviously a big target and a guy that Georgia really, really needs in this class. Couple more guys to keep an eye on. Eric Reed, former Ole Miss commitment, four-star safety. Uh, he will be in town for his official visit. And Dante Manning, uh, another four-star defensive back, plans to take his official visit to Georgia this weekend. I think Georgia will get one of those two guys. I think all are being recruited heavily. Uh, but I think Georgia will obviously land Jalen Kimber. I think they'll land Keely Ringo. And I think they'll probably get either one of either Dante Manning or Eric Reed to finish out uh, the secondary. So. I think I just about covered everything. Again, if I miss something, hit me up uh, on Twitter, Matt DeBerry. Yeah, pretty simple, hard to forget. Uh, and yeah, we got one week left until signing day. Lots of move, moving parts, lots of uh, official visitors this weekend. I'm gonna get a list up on DogQuest probably tomorrow on all the official visitors. Uh, but a few, uh, I think Jalen Carter told me he'd be there this weekend. Keely Ringo, Arian Smith. Ton of guys will be there this weekend and uh, should be a very, very exciting week next week and uh, a few days leading up to signing day. So Georgia looking to close out with a top five class and if they hit on these guys, uh, they will once again bring in one of the top classes in the country. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Really hope you guys enjoy these videos and stay tuned to Dog Post. We've got a lot of content pumping out. I'm about to publish a story breaking down the 2020 class wrote a lot about what I just talked about now. Dean's got a what we're hearing coming out later today. So y'all make sure to get on dog post, make sure you are always up to date with all the latest Georgia Bulldog team and recruiting news. Again, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.